While watching Only Murders in the Building Season 3, my theories have changed with each episode. With every new clue, I start thinking about another suspect. I'm sure most viewers feel the same. So I decided to bring together every potential murderer and see which one is more realistic. Let's dive in. Perhaps the most exciting theory I encountered was Cliff DeMeo as a murderer. Once I explain, you'll see that it makes a lot of sense. What if the producers deliberately wanted to tank the musical to scam investors? Maybe Cliff killed Ben so that the show wouldn't succeed. You may even think he is too stupid to plan such a thing, which leads me to his mom, Donna. She seems to be really supportive of her son, so maybe when she understood that the first play that her son was going to produce was about to flop, she wanted to stop it before it happened. That's why she killed Ben to protect her son's reputation as a producer. And weirdly enough, they have been quite absent from the story for the last few episodes, which means they may return just in time to get caught. This is where I have to talk about the true killer's theory because what if it was mother and son together who murdered Ben? Maybe one started the deed by poisoning Ben and the other finished the job by pushing him down the elevator shaft. Another theory I would like to mention is Dickie as the murderer. When Oliver discovered Loretta's scrapbook, everyone thought she brought together Ben's pictures, but in every single picture, Dickie was standing beside Ben which means maybe Loretta was looking for Dickie instead of Ben. I'm thinking Dickie is actually Loretta's son, and when Ben discovered it, they fought during the opening night. He called Loretta a snake because maybe he thought Loretta was trying to get between him and his brother Dickie. Potentially, Dickie saw Ben and Loretta fight and killed his brother as revenge. This is again where the Tuculus theory comes up. Maybe it was Dickie and Loretta together who wanted to end Ben's life. We already saw how Loretta talks about Ben. She hates him so much. Maybe she wanted to get rid of him to be closer to Dickie and Dickie agreed. The plot thickens everyone. Although there are tons of theories, one other that convinced me is the one about Talbert being the killer. Hear me out. This guy is a lying liar who lies, okay? She lied to Mabel and then admitted it. He hangs out with Mabel to stay closer to the case to ensure Mabel doesn't catch him as the killer. Otherwise, he seemed too uninterested in her during their date night. It was evident that he was with her to remain close. Also, he said that he would want to make a documentary about Ben's death, which would be a great career opportunity for him. Why not kill Ben himself and make a documentary about it? He is really suspicious. One final theory is that Saz is the killer. We only saw her in one episode this season, enough to give us so many clues. When she talked to Charles about Ben's death, she asked if Charles was sure the killer was after Ben and not him. She insinuated that many people wanted Charles gone, and throughout this season, it has been an ongoing theme where we see how Charles behaves poorly with everyone around him. We also know that Saz is now dating Jen. What if they planned to get rid of Charles together, but accidentally killed off Ben? I don't really know how they managed to do that, but if Charles was dead, Sass could easily replace him in the role as they practically look like twins. So Sass has more than one motive to be the murderer. I just don't know how she accidentally killed Ben instead. These are all the plausible theories I could come up with. I also think Kimber is a possibility, but we'll talk about it in another video. Tell me your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. See you soon.